there are several challenges the water companies are facing every day. One of the main challenges is to secure a stable water supply through all the distribution networks and to the end customers. They are also they are dealing often with pipe breaks, increasing the leakage and uh, this compromises the continuous uh, delivery to the water supply. And all this is due to the lack of pressure management. Most of the distribution networks are very complex, and this complexity resides mainly in the changes of flow pressure. For example, when we have unexpected events such as fire or pipe breaks or change of the flow demands, the flow and pressure delivered by pumps they are forced to cope with these variations. Demand driven distribution, it's, uh, the short name is uh, DDD, is an uh, intelligent uh, ground flow solution that are consists in a very sophisticated control unit, that at this control unit is installed in the pump stations where the pumps are running with frequency converter. As well, we have a pressure sensor that are installed in the distribution system, especially in the critical points, where this pressure sensor communicates with the control unit that is installed in the pump station. In this way, the control unit will manage the performances of the pumps in order to deliver the pressure and the flow that the system needs at all times. The main improvements that you will see when the demand traffic distribution is implemented is that you will see your pumps running closer to the best efficiency point, meaning that you will have energy savings from the day one. Secondly, the control curve it will be automatically optimized, so you won't need any manual work to make the changes that is need. Third, since your pumps it will be running to the best efficiency point, you will deliver in exactly the pressure that your system needs means that you will decrease the amount of pipe breaks, the leakage, and your non-revenue water will definitely decrease. Besides that, that, the most important, I will say, is that you'll be able to bring a stable water supply to your end customers at all times. Demand driven distribution can be implemented in systems where the pressure required for the network is delivered by pumping. If you have a pump station where the main pressure delivery is the pumps, we can implement DDD. Besides that, we have to be sure there is no pressure reduced bulks in the system. We have several cases all around the world where DDD benefits have been proved. For example, we have cases in Denmark, Finland, Italy, China, Romania, Indonesia, India, Chile, and the list continues. For example, the, the, the case we have in Chile, the customer was so satisfied with the result he got around 28% of energy cost reduction and 10% reduction in, in leakage, that are now there are, we are in process of implementing 45 cases just in Chile. I think it's a, it's a very simple, innovative solution that is easy to implement, it's not costly, and it also it's a good way to provide a solution to the to water scarcity all around the world.